Hi, Ben here with uh, Visual Dev FM, and in this video, we're going to explore how to add co comments to your Webflow blog using Discus. So this is Discus, uh, D-I-S-Q-U-S dot com or Discuss, and once you sign up for an account, you'll have to verify your account, and then in the top right-hand corner, once you've verified, you can click on the cut quill, and then you can click on Add Discus to Site. So it's going to show you all these different features that it has. And then we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and just click on Get Started. And then we're going to choose, I want to install Discus on my site, because that's what we want to do. So we're going to call this, you know, um, Webflow um, Blog with Webflow. And then we're going to select a category, which is Tech. And then we're going to create the site. So it's going to show you all of these different options to pay for an account. You can choose to do that. Um, it removes ads and supports multiple websites. You get a bunch of different pieces you know, here if you move up to the pro option, advanced moderation, all that, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then, but we can choose down here the basic and just subscribe now. This will come with ads in the comments, so just something to keep in mind. And then they're going to show you all these different services that you can install this on. What you're going to do is you're going to say, I don't see my platform listed. And it's going to give you a couple of sets of code. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy this first one. And this is we're going to paste this where we want uh, Discus to load. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to come in here to my Webflow project. Below my post, I've got this set up where I can put in comments. So I'm just going to paste. And then you'll notice there is a section commented out here. So we're going to remove um, these comments, uncomment this stuff here. Um, remove those lines and then you'll notice now it says page URL well my URL is this URL so I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here and then um, what I want to do is I want to add a field slug so now I have my page URL loaded in here so page URL is this and then I need a page identifier so I'm going to use my slug here again so I'm going to select all of this just backspace it I add in slug here um, and then I'm going to put quotes around both of these here um, so got those set and the rest of this we don't need to touch and then I should be able to save it close I'm going to come back over here to the install instructions and I'm going to copy this code and this goes before the site's closing body tag we've done this on a couple other videos already so you can come over here uh, in this before body on the blog template page we're going to just paste in this code hit save we're going to publish it and then now when we refresh the page we have a comment section for our site. And since we added in those variables, it'll be different for each page. So it, it won't be the same. You know, it won't be like I can add a comment here if we go to another blog page. It's the same comment because we're pulling those values dynamically. It will change. So, um, so far on this site, there are other videos that show you how to get this effect, how to add in the share buttons. And now we can just go ahead and say test comment. We'll post this so we have a test comment and that's the moderator um, and then this is the 15 best blogs to follow we can choose a different post and come in and you'll notice that same comment we added wasn't there but there's support for gifts and all these different things um, and this is just a pretty simple straightforward way for us to add in comments to our webflow blog using discus hopefully this helps uh, if you have questions, reach out to us at Visual Dev FM on social media, or you can reach out to me at Riley Richter. Be happy to answer your questions. Thanks.